Hey. Hey, whoever's watching this. Um, I just feel like I should tell my story of dealing with depression and anxiety. It's not, it's not easy. And it's not easy sharing the story and it's not easy dealing with it in life. I don't really know when like this depression and anxiety started I would say like a couple of years ago I know that I had it during my last year of high school in 2012 I just didn't know it was anxiety and now that I, like, I think about it and look back, it definitely was anxiety and it wasn't as bad then. But it's weird how it can get so bad in only a matter of, like, well, like a year it got really bad I don't know why sorry this is just it's not an easy t subject to talk about it's like putting your personal life on the, on the internet it's not easy To me, like having depression and anxiety it just feels like you're not really there. If that makes sense, it make it feels like yeah, you're doing things and you're living and like your physical body is there but your mind's just not. And that's not all the time. There's moments where you just feel like shit. You feel like fucking shit. <laughs> to put it simple. I don't know what the cure is for depression or anxiety or any mental illness for that matter. Um, I wish they would hire up and find one because I'm over this shit. Um, it's it's not fun. I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy because that's just fucking hell. It's but lately, like. things just get to you a lot, I don't know, I guess it's like part of anxiety and depression, you get like really angry and really sad and just people fucking piss you off so much, to me anyway, it fucking pissed me off, working in a place where I did work, busy and so stressful, I, I had to quit, I couldn't even work anymore. I just feel, I feel like I'm making this video for other people to know that they're not alone and also for myself to talk about it. I, I don't think I talk about it like enough. I don't tell people I have depression or anxiety. It's not something you really want to go tell people. But yeah, I am putting it on the internet. But And I try to stay positive as much as I can. I really do, and it's it's hard. 
Um, gonna take it one day at a time. I feel like for me, what has helped me a lot was just staying happy and oh my god, laughing. Laughing is just seriously the, the cheapest and best medicine you could probably have. I just try and make myself laugh each day and I, that's why I'm on YouTube all the time. I watch so much YouTube and I just, I try to keep laughing, I keep having fun. Otherwise, I'll think about everything and get really down and depressed. And I mean, I have those days where I do and I can't get out of that weird funk, but there's days that I'm really, I'm really good and I feel like it's getting better. I don't know if it's getting better. I mean, I would say it has. It has a lot since I quit my job, that's for sure. I couldn't deal with the stress of that job. It's too much. <clears throat> It's really not that hard to be nice. It's seriously not. The world would be such a better place if everyone was just like, not a cunt. Just not a fucking cunt. I fucking said cunt, didn't I? Fuck. Fuck. I know some people going through depression. And it's good to have them in your life. Well, I mean, depression's not good, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's good to have someone that you can relate to in your life that is sort of going through the same thing and knows when, when know, how, know, understands and knows what to do when you are, when you are having an anxiety attack or just sort of like understands better than people that don't have it or don't know anyone that does it's it's hard to explain to somebody that doesn't have it or aren't really willing to like know and research about it but you've just got to surround yourself with with good people and people that are going to help you in life <laughs> not bring you down and treat you like shit <clears throat> I just want to say that this video is not a oh Seth's depressed go for the cyber no I just want to let people know that, you know, not everyone is okay and not everyone is all happy and smiling. <laughs> we've got a fucking, we've all got our shit to deal with. And we're all, taking a while. one day at a time other people that are just not coping not coping with life and it's harder it's harder for some people but the moral of this story is don't be an asshole and maybe have a heart and care about people and don't judge them as well don't judge them before you know them. I hope you all have a fantastic day or night and just don't be assholes. And love. Love each other.
拜拜。